Chad Barry Camry, part 17. Okay, it's time to rebuild the gearbox now. So, I'll just start by talking up the bolts on the differential here. They have to be done up nice and tight. Otherwise, it'll come flying to bits. And we're going to set the bearing preload. So that diff's got to spin in the casing nice and freely within specifications. So I've had to make up this little jig thing here out of a used CV joint and then I'm going to use this really small torque wrench that I got from Japan to measure the very small value. Uh, so this here is out by about 0.25 of a newton meter so I've got to adjust the shim. So I've put some paper in the gearbox there um, to see uh, what type of thickness we're dealing with and we're looking at 0.25 of a millimeter that's got to come off. So I sanded it by hand. It took quite a long time to sand, several hours in fact, um, but it eventually got there and now it's all um, within tolerance. So you can see there's the bearings there, the roller bearings. When you close the gearbox casings together it clamps everything together and makes it a little bit tighter. That's the output shaft spinning with the diff and now we're measuring the output shaft load. So that's there, 0.05 newton meters of torque. Perfect. So that one doesn't need to be adjusted. Alright, so this little magnet here goes in. That collects uh, any iron filings and residue from inside the gearbox. That sits in the bottom of the oil bath. And here I'm just uh, clearancing the oil pump, making sure the surfaces are nice and flat. Didn't actually do it on the table, I've actually got a flat bar for it. And then we measure the um, tolerance between the oil pump housing and the rotor. So you're looking for a really small gap there. This is the oil pump, and this is the drive gear that goes into it, and this is how it works. Basically that little gear is driven off the diff ring, and that's what pumps the oil around the gearbox. So now I'm installing it. I'm just going to place it down here, and the bolts are going to go in magically. They will appear. And then the oil lines that, off, that come off the pump will go on next and the bolts will magically appear. And then the drive going to the oil pump for the diff. You see how that spins and it pumps the oil. Alright, so now I've put the um, shafts back in as well. This is the reverse idler. So this slides back and forward and that's how it reverses engaged. It's a straight cut tooth gear. That's why it makes the whining sound. And so this is the actual um, selector fork and I'm just getting that engaged with the reverse idler. This is another one of the selector forks. That's actually not the right hole so don't watch this video if you're trying to build a gearbox. And here is uh, the right uh, selector fork. It's going through all the little holes that it lines up with all the little bits and pieces. All fitting through together nicely. Um, these can be quite confusing if you don't have a picture of what it looked like before. <laughs> and pushing that down, clicks into place, and then all the nuts and bolts go into place. All the bolts go on for the selector forks. I've actually got a newer selector fork out of the um, RAV4 gearbox I'm using, and I've got a, a newer fifth gear synchro as well, which will be nice and new. We apply about a uh, 2mm bead of um, black silicon RTV sealant around the gearbox, making sure you don't leave any gaps, otherwise it's going to leak. And then the gearbox casing comes down. The selector forks go through the casing, and then we're putting the end plate on for 5th gear. So this is the 5th gear synchro. It's going to go now on top of the, well on the side of the gearbox, that, and then you see here, here's actually 5th gear and then the synchro comes down on it. So the synchro is actually what engages the gear and holds the uh, car in gear. So that's there engaged on the fifth gear and that's disengaged. Engaged, disengaged. Let's put the fork on, so that's the actual uh, selector fork. That's a new one as well. And then RTV sealant, the top, and then the side cover goes back on. So that's the main assembly of the gearbox done. Next part here is the uh, selector, so this is how it actually changes gears and uh, the RAV4 one that I've got there is actually weighted which gives you a much nicer gear changing feel, it's that big weight on the end. 
This is the rear transfer case. So that's going on next. Got to put the cover back on first. Put an RTV sealant on it. And then we'll secure that up and put it onto there. This intermediate spline shaft goes on. This is um, actually has another shaft that runs through the inside of it. You can see it's hollow. Quite a complex um, oil drive system. Doing these all up to a certain torque figure and then doing these ones up as well now that the transfer case is on the side of the gearbox. Everything's in place. Just doing up these last big nuts. And then the next bit is going to be to put the release bearing on for the clutch. So tightening these up and you can see here here's the completed gearbox with the transfer case bolted up to it. All the complex bits and pieces are on the inside doesn't really look like much from the outside. I've got here some nice uh, Bendix ceramic um, lube for the for the bearings for the release bearing shaft and basically this is how your clutch works so this part here pushes in and out to engage and disengage the clutch and that's the gearbox uh, rebuild so now that's all ready to go back on to the engine we're going to put the clutch in next and that's going to be next video